Hello folks, this is Ken Button, and we're going to set up a web server on a little Linode VPS. And this is, of course, the third part in a multi-part series of screencasts, video tutorials showing um, everything from the creation and setup of a web server to the um, uploading of website files to the creation of the website. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pull up our terminal. Here we are. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in to the server, uh, the server with SSH to the username that we created in the last segment at the IP address of the server. I'm just going to ask for a password here. Excellent. Now we're going to install the Apache web server. That's the first on our list here. So you'll see the code here is always in this um, orange color. sudo apt get install apache2. And once we put our password in, it's going to ask us to confirm it, that we ins indeed want to install the server. And you can see in real time, it doesn't take long to install an Apache server. Now the um, server with its default settings, not necessarily the best for uh, the Linode uh, server. So let's go ahead and create a copy real quick of the configuration file. set these values uh, as I have them here. And the numbers we want to change are in red. So we'll scroll on down until we find that section. There's the pre-fork. And we see that the start servers is set currently to 5. Now we want to change that to 1. I'm going to change the minimum spare servers to 3. Max spare service is 6 with 24 max clients and 3,000 max for child. Okay, once we have that done, we're going to control O, ask us if we want to save it, hit enter, control X, get us back to terminal. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and reload the Apache server. Okay, as you can see over here. Now, we need to be able to tell, <coughs> configure the virtual host so that when, when somebody requests a specific domain that you have residing on your server, that it's able to find that actual domain in the right folder in the right folder structure. So, but before we do that, let's go ahead and disable the um, out of the box uh, site default. basically navigate to our home file and if you'll notice we already are CD puts us right back in there make a directory called public within our home uh, user directory and then make a directory subsets of that directory. And then change 
change the permissions of the home directory. And then sudo chmod recursively those same very same permissions through the root directory public. Okay. Now we need to create a virtual host file for the site. And that can be done by sudo nano etc apache2 sites available. forward slash and then the name of the file ken.button.com that will open up a file that has nothing in it control O oops control O to right control X to get out of it now I've created the file and um, you'll see here that uh, this configuration file is for the virtual host and um, a couple of notable changes are the 80 port here so web traffic goes through port 80 and then of course the domain is um, you've got it in red, I put it, I put it in right here so you can see where each place you'll need to make a change on your particular configuration file and call it the appropriate name but since this one's done correctly control C I'll be able to copy it into the nano file I'm going to open that file again. And this time, paste with Control Shift V the, um, the content of this file. Control O. Okay, Control X gets us out of there. Now, um, we need to enable this site, so as you see there, sudo enable oops, a2 and site can button come. Okay, now we need to restart the Apache server. So sudo service Apache 2 restart. You can use restart or reload. Awesome. Awesome. Whenever there's a problem with your configuration file, the dang Apache server will not restart. In which case, if you have 25 websites on there and you screw up one Apache configuration file, try to do a server, um, a service. Apache 2 restart uh, and it fails every site just came down okay so just to go through this really quickly again we'll go ahead and log out and log back in so that we can configure buttonblock.com another web domain alright so we're logged out of the server let's log back in with ssh to the username buttonblock at the web address of the Linode place our password in Okay, now the first thing we want to do um, is um, once again CD into the home folder. Of course, we are already there, so this looks a little suspiciously funny and, and useless, and at this point it is. Uh, make directory public. That's already been created, if you recall, the uh, public directory. Um, we already did this before, and in the, in the, in the previous uh, case, we had ken.button right here where you see this. Um, buttonblock.com so that's uh, the what's when we're on it execute right now that make directory public and we'll create a couple of subset folders and no spaces make sure 
sure that's all right. Okay, sudo chmod. Now those permissions were already performed here, but we'll do it for the heck of it. Again. Okay, and then uh, the next permissions here, this sudo chmod recursively. The A plus Rx. Let's create a virtual host file for the new site, buttonblock.com. So sudo nano etc apache2 sites available forward slash buttonblock.com. Opens up an empty file. Control O, save it. Control X. Now we'll come over here and copy the configuration of this particular file. And you'll notice that we've got the button block is the new domain that we're configuring. And I meant to make these red so that they stand out. These are the places where you'll need to update with your domain for your virtual host. And almost finished here. Probably unnecessary, but I want to make sure everything is absolutely 100% correct in your configuration file. So once again, you can bring down every site on the server should you make a mistake in this file. And when you restart the Apache server, the mistake is found with a not so okay, and it won't restart. Okay, so we'll go ahead and copy this. So I'm going to start a GIMP, close him out. Okay, and then we'll now back into ETC files. Where we'll control shift V to paste the new information for button block into here. We'll control O to save it. And then we'll control X to exit it. Now we need to sudo a2 enable site buttonblock.com. Enabling the site. Now before it'll enable it, it says we have to sudo service apache2 restart. And once again, we hope and pray for OK. Excellent. All right, and that concludes this particular video tutorial on setting up a web server, Apache, and optimizing Apache, and then configuring name-based web virtual host. And the next series will be on uh, the databases.